further. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. We will be starting here shortly, just getting everything set up, and we'll be good to go. Indeed, we are playing Armored Brigade. Now, the stream will go black, and it's back. There we go. That's what you know. Once it goes black, uh, it tends to come back. Indeed, there's a lot of uh, icons. <laughs> I do hope you are all doing fantastic. I know it's a bit of an interesting time here, but this is it. This is what it's like to be living in history. And we're going to make history today, aren't we? It has been a little while since playing Armor Brigade, and I, I wonder what kind of mood I'm in right now. What kind of what kind of mood are you guys in? Are we, are we feeling Soviet? Are we feeling um, American, British, potentially French? How are we feeling? Italians are interesting. Yugoslavians, they're always a good one. Now I've got a Germany there, but are we going to be playing East or West Germany? Yep, you can actually create your own campaigns. It's a really nice feature, actually. I remember when it was introduced not too long ago, actually. A uh, good deal of support actually available for the game, as can be expected. Um, yeah, play by mode would be pretty nice actually. How does it work? Yep, it's a new future. Uh, sorry, new future, new feature uh, that was introduced. So essentially, what you can do here then to create a campaign is well, we could potentially take a look at the Fort Irwin one. That's rather interesting with the desert. That could be rather interesting. We'll go with the desert, something a little bit different then. Uh, there's always the North uh, German plain over here, but maybe the desert could be interesting. The Fort Irwin National Training Center. Let's take a look at the Ardennes. As you would imagine, very, very foresty. <laughs> the Fort of Gap. Northern Italy over here, Northeast Italy. Plain the map's quite nice, actually. I do like it. And we'll go ahead and try the Fort Irwin. It seems really interesting, actually, so we do have Mars. We could fight on Mars. On the Mojave base. But this looks rather fascinating, actually. And we do have an airfield over here as well. That could be really cool. Uh, so what we're going to do here, then, is... This is the size of our sector. Play a supply. We'll go with... Uh, we'll go back to 30, then, I suppose. Uh, well, there's no water here, anyway. <laughs> I don't imagine. I'm sure the Mojave uh, almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter, indeed. <laughs> we're going to vote for Latin. We're going to vote for West Germany. Uh, so we're going to have the Federal German Army here. <laughs> In the US. I do imagine this is the US, considering we have Mojave. Mojave? Mojave. I feel like I'm mispronunciating it. Uh, so, left click to add waypoints, and then right click to finish. So, what we might do then is, let's see. Hmm. We'll fight for the actual airfield, so we left click there. And then there. Potentially retreat over this way. And, yeah, we'll see if that works. Okay, so that one's a little bit too close there, so what I need to do then is... Oh, we could make random sectors? Yep, there we go, that works out. Uh, so essentially what this does here is this sets up a number of actual battles. So you can see this is going to be the first battle zone, then we would have this battle zone over here, and then we would move here, here, and here. So it's really interesting. Essentially what happens is the... I think this would be the case of the first battle, the point of the first battle over here. I and mean, if you win, you push on. If you lose, you get pushed back. So it's pretty intriguing. And the German Air Force used to use El Paso. That's pretty good as well. I do like El, El Paso when I do uh, the heaters as well, actually. Okay. Uh, so we did have some votes for the FRG, so we'll go for the FRG. Uh, who should we go up against then, guys? Who would you like? <laughs> yeah, they could pretend to be the Africa Corps. <laughs> That's actually really good. I like that one. That is actually pretty fantastic. I do like that. Hmm... It's going to be intriguing one. Let's see. I don't imagine Finland would like to fight out in the desert, and the British Army could be interesting. Hmm. The base eject fighter training is still done in the US, but everything beyond that has been moved to Germany. Oh, that makes sense. Makes sense. Who are we feeling then? Who would you guys like to see us fight against? I'm going to be playing the FRG. Uh, Brit oh, God, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go for it. <laughs> Africa, God. I'm liking it. Yeah, we'll go for the British Army there. Of uh, the British Army of the Mojave. Am I pronunciating that correctly? Is that how you pronounce it? I'm going to say probably no. But it feels feels right, I think. So day temperature is extremely hot. That's going to be intriguing to see how this changes here. Uh, we'll go for a battle. Hmm. 
Holtec could be interested, actually. Oh, that's the time of the day, sorry. Uh, we'll start about 6am, I guess. Something around that time. 6.23, then, is when the war begins, and let's see. Um, hmm. So, we can go all the way back to 1965. What would you guys like to see? Would you like to see maybe potentially uh, something like 1965? Something a little bit further ahead in time? I think maybe... Maybe trying something old could be intriguing. Just like seeing lots of like... Oh God, what would uh, what would we see at this point here, actually? Would Challenger be... Challenger 1, I think? Was that the 50s, 60s? When did the Challenger 1 become part of the TOE? At what point did we transition from the Chieftain, actually? Huh, interesting. And uh, we'll try 1965 then. Could be an interesting one. We will try 1981 afterwards, then. Hmm. Actually, no. I'll go halfway. We'll try... We'll try 1975, then. So, maybe 1970. 80s? Okay, we've got two votes for the 80s there. I've said it right. That's fantastic. So, we'll go for 1980, then. We'll go for that, then. So, the time doesn't particularly matter. Mm, we'll go for Armoured. Uh, we will go for Armoured. Uh, I'm going to go for Armoured myself. We don't have to have purely Armoured. But it could be quite interesting. Obviously, the desert is a rather interesting place. Uh, Challenger was the 80s. Okay, right. I thought so. thought so. Not that I know. Right, okay. So, combat power. Oh, so you see where... Oh, right, okay. So, we'd have 384. And the Brits would have 22211. So they're going to have quite a lot there. Uh, as you can see, if we do increase this, they also do gain that. Uh, Chieftain and Centurion in the 60s. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll try... I mean, we could go quite low here. So maybe 2,000 there. We could potentially go for a small engagement. Maybe... Maybe 3,000 here then. Uh, keep it somewhat of a smaller scale so we can try a different potential era as well. Uh, unit selection there is on auto for the AI, manual for ourselves, of course. Uh, so we could obviously edit and... Well, yeah, essentially change how this would be, really. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm quite happy with that. We'll see what it can do. Right. So it's going to be an interesting one, really, to see what we are going to need. So we can't afford any of these sections over here due to the actual amount of points I can spend in here uh, being pretty restricted. But we do have Leopards. The Leopards are going to be rather intriguing actually due to their speed. As we have Leopard, we have Leopard 2 actually. The Leopard 2 is going to be fantastic. Centurion was the 50s, right? That makes sense. Um, hmm. Yeah, late 40s. That's something that's not often said, is it really? Right, good looks. I've actually got some of these guys. I do have a GHQ um, German force of the a 1980s GHQ German box, actually. So I've got a couple. I've got four Leopard 2s in there. I've got a couple of these guys. These guys are really large. And it's actually quite surprising how big these guys are. So we've got different versions there. We've got the A0 and we've got the A1. I can't discern the difference here, per se. They are the same price. Which is intriguing. Mm, can't discern the difference there. Might be a slight change of model there. Okay, so we could go for potentially a section there. Let's see. Uh, I do like them as they do have the auto cannon. So at least they're able to actually pose something of a threat. I'm not a massive fan of uh, dismounted scout sections. They are pretty useful. I think probably what we would like to have then is... I mean, I've got to stop selecting them. <laughs> Alright, okay. So we have these little guys over here. So we get two of them and then we get the scout teams. Everyone want freeze. Uh, what do you guys reckon then? Do we go for potentially... And these guys are fairly expensive. They are pretty quick, though. What do we have in terms of armor here? I mean, that is actually fairly decent armor, as well as it goes for something of this sort of nature. If we compare that, 14, uh, 22 there. Yeah, 22. So, they may have a chance of surviving. 
I need to stop double clicking. I'm, I'm so used to double clicking. Uh, <laughs> what's the worst thing in the history of the game? But as well, oh, that is pretty good actually. I might have to, uh, might have to go ahead and pick that now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm leaning towards the looks. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. It's not the most expensive one as well, but I like the fact that we don't have to rely upon like dismounted. But we could get some dismounts as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do then is go ahead and pick up a big section over here then. It would be nice to potentially leave some points available as well. We don't want to go all out as we do have to pay to replace our losses. Now, so... Uh, we do have some... Are these dismounted Jaegers? These are dismounted Jaegers. Uh, they do have the MG3, which is nice. We do have some Panzerfaust 44s. Or the Panzerfaust uh, 44. Uh, it does have four, which is not bad. Jaegers over here as well. They do come equipped with a 40mm grenade launcher as well as the Panzerfaust. But I'm not a giant fan. I'm not I'm not really a fan of taking the conventional infantry there. Well, the dismounted infantry. Uh, they bought them after seeing a wooden mock-up and they ended up as you have to leave. <laughs> That's pretty fantastic, actually. Okay. Uh, this is just how the game is in just the main menu. Uh, once we get into it, obviously, that will quickly change. Oh, right, so it's militia then. Okay. These martyrs are very nice. I do like the martyrs. They're great as they do have the 20 millimeters. It's just an issue of, well, it would be nice to potentially have a 80 GM. But they are pretty good. And uh, we do come equipped. Oh, well, we do have one over here with the Milan 80 GM, actually. It would be nice if more of them had the Milan. That would be quite good. So. Hmm. What do you guys reckon then? I don't want to spend too, too much, really. I think we try to retain some... Some actual points available for the future, really. A man is a stone source, and the Milan is replaced by the spike. I've not heard about the spike, actually. That's pretty interesting. I really don't know that much about it. I don't know. It's one of these things. I really am. I, I do aspire to be a historian myself, but it's one of these things of, like, the, the, the part of history that I do read upon is just, I'm just not that kind of guy that knows really anything much. I know the basics, but my god, I would be schooled amazingly. Oh, that's cool. So, offensive capability then. That's something to bear in mind. Uh, let's see then. I don't spend terribly much on this. It is nice to have infantry, but I feel like I've been burnt in the past. The headquarters though, is a useful thing. We could potentially go for a platoon. I'd like to try and keep it small. So we have the Marda 1A1s. We have the Marda 1 over here. Uh, so we have 52. Is it a... I'd imagine there must be some sort of upgrade for the 1A1. Hmm. Is it potentially the infantry in their equipment? Hmm. Well, what we could do then is we could potentially pick up... What's the price difference here? 131, 508, 523. So they are price differently, so I imagine it might be the actual equipment that the men have here. Hmm. That's pretty awesome. Ah, <sighs> these M113s would be nice. I am tempted by these guys as I'm a bit of a cheapskate. But it's just not worth it, really, is it? I mean, for the most part, the Marders aren't going to stand up to anything that is able to take out tanks, but they will stand up to a few things. They're not going to be immediately taken out. And they can stand up to probably HMGs as well. I mean, this is maybe, but I, I wouldn't rely upon that. Well, obviously, 50 we could probably be quite handy. Hey, Devere Pixel, good to have you, my friend. Uh, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. It was my birthday on the 18th of March, so that's fantastic. I'm now a quarter, a quarter centurion, so that was good. Uh, just turns out it is the plague upon us. 
So of course, so of course. Thank you very much. I did have a slice of cake before starting the stream, which is why I was slightly late. And we've got some Fortin's, uh, Fortin's chocolate cake, actually, and that's really fantastic. Indeed, cake day. Cake day. I'm thinking about celebrating by uh, purchasing maybe a box or two of the Eldar. I want to go for like a Wraith host army. I, I want to get lots of Wraith guard, lots of Wraith lords, and get a Wraith seer. I just want to have everything Wraiths. Wraiths up in this house. Okay. <laughs> Feels birthday, man. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna concentrate here. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting distracted. Sorry. Uh, so what I'm gonna do then is I'm going to go with the Marder One A Ones. Then I'm gonna go for a platoon. I don't think I want a second platoon. I'm gonna go for the headquarters. I don't want to go for too much. I feel like if I have too much, I just I don't know. I feel like I lose it. I feel like it's easier to micromanage these smaller amounts and take it from there. Uh, we could potentially even use the Leopard 1A1s. Potentially, we do have Leopard 1A2s over here, Leopard 1A3. Ah, the Leopard 1A3 actually is quite intriguing. Uh, so, we do have an increase in armor, so it's an increased armor package aboard, well, on the actual uh, chassis. Uh, the gun is still the L7. They are pretty quick, though. Do we lose any speed? Is it just... Okay, so it's just an increase in armor, which is good. I don't... Oh, right, so I can take a... 183 over here if I wanted to. Um, that's not bad, 210. It's not bad. Leopard 2, though, just... Yeah, it, it completely outclasses it. Just in terms of the armor. It's, yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, we also do have some M48s over here. These guys are interesting. Uh, what else do we have in terms of options? Right, so we do have the 90 mil... These guys, well, they do have the 105 L7. That's not a bad. So, what are we looking at in terms of prices? So, 532. If I compare that to the 183, that's a saving, actually. They're not as quick, they're not actually as well armored or resistant. They are slower. Hey, do my man, Bunship. Good to have you, my man. I'm tempted by these guys as... Well, it could give us some additional firepower there with the L7s. Uh, they do have night vision, it seems. Not That's going to be a tremendous problem, but it could be. They do have 200 meters less, though, in terms of that actual, uh, well, sight. The range out there. Should we say target acquisition? Hmm... But I'm feeling... I mean, this is it. What do we want to do? I mean, it would be nice to potentially have some Leopards to actually get out there quickly. And the actual Leopard 1A1s are intriguing. I mean, that's 656. I mean, we are paying for that speed there. They are resistant to the chemical. I think this is the chemical explosion. Or explosives. I'd have to double check. Uh, what do you guys reckon? We could get a couple M48s over here. Or a couple of leopards. The leopards obviously are pretty quick. It is a bit of a tremendous difference in speed there. Uh, what are we looking at with the leopard dudes then? They are pretty expensive. And they are very quick there at 67. I think it probably is better then to take the leopard ones. Uh, leopard one, maybe the 1A3. The 1A3 707. The 1A1A1. <laughs> He's 656. And they do actually come with the L7, so okay, that's actually a pretty deciding factor then. Uh, let's see. What do you guys reckon then? Is it worth it to have the increased armor? They do have uh, superior radio systems as well. The 102E is lacking there. How does the M48 compare in that uh, respect? 106. Go for the armor. Yeah. Yeah, they do have the uh, radios as well, which is pretty good. Um, a company is pretty expensive. I think what I could do then is... Hmm. Very expensive. But I think we'll go for a platoon. It would be nice if you could potentially tailor this a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. I wish we could have, like, uh, smaller formations than the platoon. Yeah, no, what I'm thinking is maybe... I mean, a company there would be very expensive, but they are well worth it. Hmm. 
So we have the Leopard 1A4s. 692. They do have the armor package. They have the 105. Their radios are slightly worse. But they're actually slightly cheaper. Due to that radio. I think I'll go for the 1A4 actually. Hmm. Yeah. The juice would be quite nice actually for the toes. Uh, what I'll do then is... We could potentially even have... I mean this is it. The, the Leopard 2 MPT headquarters is pretty fantastic. That, that radio there is amazing. Hmm. Well, what I might do then is instead, yeah, you look at how expensive this all is. I don't think we're going to have the luxury here. What I might do then is drop the Marder headquarters. That would allow me to get the Leopard 2 headquarters if I wanted it. But is it worthwhile to have a Leopard 2 headquarters? Probably so, because it's very resistant. Um, my worry is... Well, there's quite a lot to worry about here. I think we are going to have to prune this down. We have used a lot of points with that Leopard 2 tank platoon. That's something to bear in mind. Uh, we do have the Yag Cannon. Love these guys. I've got a couple of them from Heroics and Ross in 6 mil, and they're really nice. I just love the fact that they're essentially like the modern day uh, Hetza. Okay. Hmm. So we have a section over here, so that's quite good. It might be worthwhile to take some gap heads as well, just to have some AA protection. Uh, we're not going to be a very large force. We are going to be pretty... Squishy in terms of numbers. Uh, we do have some ATGMs, though. They are pretty handy to actually bear in mind. Mortar support would be nice as well. And uh, potentially some M1... Um, 13s there. We do need a headquarters, so. A company team. <laughs> Kinda. It's not far off, is it, I suppose? Um, I need a headquarters. It may be that we use the mechanized as our headquarters. I mean, we could have the Fox, um... Operate there, the M113 there. 105. That's good to know. I could potentially run the Marder. I'll grab two Marders then, I guess. For the headquarters. They do have the 20s and they do have the 50mm armor there. Uh, I think I'll grab a Gepard section. Gepard section. I would like... Well, eh, they don't really have a tremendous value to me with those 90s. I might pick up the ADGMs. So they got the hot ones. Hmm. 130, 61. Yeah, these guys are not as good. Oops. Um... I may have to drop the reconnaissance, but I would prefer not to, really. I think I could drop maybe one of the actual headquarters, I guess. So I'll drop a headquarters. Apparently I still can't take that. Oh, because I've got a limit over here in support. Right. Uh, what we might have to do then, the Gepins are very nice. I'll have to take something else. So what I'll do then is... Uh, I don't know, what do you guys reckon? Do we stick with the Gepards? At least the Gepards we can actually have them. Well, they're very obviously handy. They're, they do have 140 mil as well in terms of armor protection. So I'm not going to complain about that. Hmm. It would be useful to actually suppress enemy units as well. Be very useful uh, potentially against infantry. With that uh, fire power there, the twin, well, in the dual 35s. I do worry about helicopters, but I would like to have some ATGM support. But we do have the Milans and the Marders, and we do have the infantry with the Milans as well. Uh, tough question. I think I will go with the Gepards. I could have some man pads there, but it's not ideal. It really isn't ideal. Uh, 
Uh, I don't have aircraft at this moment in time. Blood 80 gems. Um, mortars would be nice as well. I'm going to pick up some 80 gems. Hmm. Same that, I don't know. I wish you could pay for like a transport from them. Be nice. They could be handy, but it's one of those where I've actually seen the map. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to fare here. It, though, then again, I suppose it's not a heavy investment. They do have four shots, though, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, they do have the Panzerfaust 44 as well. It's just the fact that, yeah, um, then again, I suppose it's not a bad investment, is it? I think I might take a second team. I'll carry that. I could potentially take a manpad team. I'm going to take a manpad team. Can't afford it. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I suppose we'll have to rely upon them. I could potentially go for the M113 to actually have some mortar support. Have an artillery would be nice. So I'll take some of those guys. I'm going to drop the ATGMs and actually take a second section. Uh, it does give me a little bit to work with here. We'd have a 20mm, so we'd have two 20s to actually work with. Calgal staves. I guess I'll take this. It gives us something to work with, doesn't it? They'll probably survive the battle, nonetheless. Uh, I'm going to take the dismounted. So, we're looking good. Maybe a second headquarters of the Marder. So, second Marder headquarters. Uh, it doesn't leave us a lot there, though. That's a problem. Hmm. Okay. Um, maybe a third headquarters could be alright, but probably not necessary. I think we'll try and get um, get through with this force. Let's see how we go there. Play the enemy's sounds. Oh, we might not, but then it gets nice to have that there. Gives us some sort of work with. Uh, we'll leave this as it is, and I guess we'll go with that. Okay, so I do have some points to spend here on air support then. So we do have the B0105, so yeah. Something to work with there. That's nice. I'm gonna need it as well. Um, how are we doing there? So we do have the developers in the actual chat here. So do direct your questions over there. I may... I might leave this as is and just hope for the best. Hmm. I don't think we'll have a lot of problems. Famous last words. It would have been nice if I had some artillery, to be honest. But I... Don't have access to it. I think we might just stick with this then. So we'd have two helicopters over there. Maybe a third just in case. Take a third just in case, I guess. Actually, no, I'm going to leave that behind. So we'll leave you. I don't want to spend too much. So we'll go with that. And we'll see how we manage. I really do like the art. Yeah, I believe it is the old arm version. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to get an idea of what the battlefield's like here. So, so we do have Fort Owen to work with. Hmm. So do we have some warehouses over here? So it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad at all, actually. I like the desert. It's looking pretty nice, actually. It's a different, completely different change of pace here. We do have a nice hill over here, actually. And uh, what we'll do then is we'll take a look at this uh, isometric view. Right, just accentuate that. Um, hmm. well, yeah, you get a better idea how this actually looks. Heights. 
And it's a pretty commanding position there, really. I think we obviously want to swing around this way. Wheel around. Indeed, the Fort Irwin map. Where many battles have been fought between the Africa Corps and the British Army. Of, uh, of the Mojave. <laughs> yeah, I feel like these guys are going to get chewed up over there. Uh, they could be positioned, uh, maybe even one up there. Yeah, there's a little bit of cover there in terms of the actual rocks. Uh, so potentially one there. And uh, maybe this one up over this way. So, I could keep them both together and actually maybe worthwhile doing so. Uh, well, what I'll do then, reattach them quickly. Shift them, I guess. Uh, could potentially go for something like that. Hmm. Oh, this is the new line of sight change, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's so, so good. Oh, well done. Well done, guys. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, that is just so good. Oh my god, that's amazing. That just makes things so much easier. Okay, well, what I'm going to do then is... Can't set you. Can you even move up there? Is that, uh, is that too steep? Potentially. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really, really nice. I feel like I can actually get a sense of what the hell I'm doing now. That's nice. So I'll have them make a scout move over that way then, I guess. Uh, so I can't place you in there. Hmm. Tough choice. Tough choice. I'm trying to figure out which is the best position. So you wouldn't be able to see anything from there if I shift you up. Uh, we do have line of sight out there, which is handy, very handy. I, I've got something to work with here. I'm really happy about that. So that is pretty, pretty good there. Uh, it might be worthwhile to have something more central, perhaps. Try and get a better idea of what is going on across the area in general. And what do you guys think of the actual uh, lay of the land then? What do you feel we should go for? Do we go for the uh, wheeling around the, I'm going to call this the, the right hand flank? I would like to try and avoid Fort Irwin. It seems like a pretty dangerous area to go for. Um, but it's not too bad. It's actually got a pretty uniform layout there to, in, in terms of the actual road system. Uh, so not bad. I can work with it. Hmm. What do you guys reckon? I'm just going to wait for a few opinions here. Try and get the best. Uh, Russian style. <laughs> full frontal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Uh, full uh, full frontal nudity there in terms of the natural assault. A naked assault upon Fort Irwin. And they wouldn't see it coming until, well, they saw the dust come out. Uh, but it's an interesting question, isn't it, really? Right, now that makes complete sense. I mean, obviously, when you're looking down, it's like, oh, why, how can you can't go up there? It's like, in reality, yeah, it's it's, it's probably pretty steep. So I do have said that. <laughs> um, I think what we need to do then is just obviously decide what our uh, overall objective will be then, and then we can go forward. I feel like we've got a fairly good idea. We've got a fairly good grasp of the battlefield here, which is nice. A lot to work with. Uh, but we'll take a look then. So, from this position... Uh, hmm. No line of sight there. God, that change just makes everything. It might even be worthwhile just potentially have you place there, see how we manage. Uh, let's see. I'm okay with that, as at least they do have a position to work with. Potentially to uh, head back down the actual hill there. Um. Hmm. I guess we'll handle that by shifting up our forces over here, really. So, the Marders obviously would be very nice to have moved in there. So, we've got the Marders. Shift them back. 
Uh, I think we will potentially go for the assault there just to try and narrow down the area in which we have to cover, to be honest. Try and create a bit of distance there. Right, the mold sections could be handy. Somewhat hide them. Do you have the AA? Gepards. Hey, the managed die. Uh, not too bad, my dude. Not too bad. The high band mode you see the inaccessible areas in red. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's a very steep part of the actual map, then, isn't it? Okay, what I would like to do, then, is just, just have you, I suppose, move to that position there, then just, just try and uh, use it to our advantage, really. Maybe a little bit higher up, then. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, I can work with that. I think we'll just take it as we go, really. Let's move with contact orders. I do have some dismounted scouts I can work with, so that's very nice. So I'm going to shift one of them into this building over here. I do love it when we get to actually have them deployed. Yeah, this is really, really nice. That was very handy to work with. And we have that covered. Right, okay. No, what I'm thinking about is maybe moving them around there. So what I'm thinking is like they... Well, uh, in fairness, I have given that impression by moving the contact there. Uh, what we'll do then is shift that. Let's see. Formation. Not that. Shift it further down then, perhaps. We'll be able to take objective two then. Uh, the mechanized is going to be an interesting one. I think potentially just have the mechanized move into the actual urban area. At least we are fairly confident that this area isn't held. Uh, we do have a road there where I could potentially move quickly, but I think we want to just increase that space in somewhat. Right, the Gepards are going to move with the actual armor. Give them an actual headquarters. Okay. Right. Uh, not the best, but I suppose it might work. Hmm. <laughs> of command and evil mine. <laughs> I like that. I do genuinely like that. that. That's fantastic, actually. I've never heard that one before. Uh, right, so we'll go with that. We don't have any artillery. We do have air power, though. So we'll have that uh, set out. There we go. Do them again. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay. Don't you make proper use of them, really, would be smart. Right, 
right, we'll go for that, and we'll get into it then. Okay, so we have an... Ooh, hello. So we do have an immediate... Contact. We do have contacts over here as well. Right. Hmm. Right, yeah. So, what we're going to do then is bring down mortars. I might look to smoke this area up, potentially cover our, our fellows, but we'll see. Uh, potentially bring down high explosives over here, just try and cause a little bit of havoc. Gepard is engaging. Okay, there's a lot of enemy forces there. Okay. So we are going to have to rotate. Cancel whatever orders you do have. Rotate. And yes, okay. So we are aware of quite a few tigers over here. So we do see FV-432s. Uh, I've not spotted any armor per se. But that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. I think I may need to slightly adjust the actual in-game sound. So... Maybe something about that. And we lost our looks. Okay, that's not good. Uh, ideally, that's not too quiet. I think I might up that a little bit more, actually. So we'll up that once more. Uh, go for about a quarter, then. Should be alright. Right, yeah. Okay, that is not good. Yeah, okay, well, they're right on our flank over here. That is uh, the big majority there, which is not exactly ideal. Scimitar over there. That is indeed not ideal. Yeah, get back there. Whoops. Uh, so the leopards are going to have to do a really good job. Right, there we go. We are taking out a few vehicles here. <laughs> um, that does not sound good. Right, so we'll have Mortifier come down shortly. So... Uh, no idea. I'm going to have to replace this. It looks like we're engaging enemy... Oh, uh, personnel carriers, actually. And we did take a hit... We are suppressed, but we're pretty good to go here. There's plenty of targets in the front. And in all honesty, we actually are in a pretty good position. If they were able to go hold down, that'd be fantastic. It's going to slightly alter that. The tank sounds a little bit loud. By a character vehicle fire. Um. Hmm. Maybe it's a little bit quieter there. There we go, that's better. Hmm. Yeah, those infantry are not quite what you want to be targeting, so uh, hold fire and, well, effective effective actually is not a bad idea. Seek cover, yes. That's a lot of British forces moving in there. Right, what we're going to do then is advance... Oh, wow, that is amazing, man. Right, so we'll fire for effect. The second one is going to have to be retargeted, though. Right, okay. Yep, the Leopards are having a really good time here. Uh, it would be ideal if they all orientated themselves in the correct... Uh... Yeah, we are taking a hit here. Scimitar's not exactly great to deal with. That infantry is a pain. Uh, we do have mortar shells come down here. In fact, what it might be better off doing, uh, better off to do here than is orientate them like so. Right. So we're gonna have the second one open fire as soon as able. Uh, so we do have some mortar rounds coming down. 
they are pumping out the smoke there, which is not ideal. A uh, couple knocked out vehicles over here. Okay, engaging. Uh, So this is how the current situation looks right now. So do you see the objective up here, of course? We are uh, dealing with a decent amount of British forces. Actually, I did anticipate them actually beginning over here, but I suppose they had a very similar idea. Uh, the scout force would be nice to take out. Yeah, but I was going that pixel. Hmm. Might be worthwhile just to back up, get a little bit of distance. Ride some tar. There we go, knocked out the scimitar last. It's not too bad, actually. I was kind of expecting a little bit more in the way of armoured forces, but I imagine they are till, uh, still here, actually. We are seeing British infantry over there. Infantry over here as well. Uh, Geppards are engaging. Uh, Geppards would be quite handy for this sort of thing. We aren't entirely sure what would engage in here. Uh, what I'm going to do, then, is look and see. So I could bring you in there. Not the best idea right now. Let's see about the second one. That might be feasible. It's not the best. They're going to come under fire, but we'll see what we can manage here. Hmm. Bring down some mortars over there. Right, that scout team is a bit of a pain in the ass. No, you are absolutely right. Hey, Dean Verboken, good to have you, my friend. Okay. Not doing too bad so far. Right, we're able to open fire, and we shall do. Though, if anything, maybe a little bit too late there. But, you know what, I do... <laughs> I feel really glad that we brought uh, Leopard 2s, uh, to be honest. Gepard's engaging as well now, it's going to be quite handy. Plenty of firepower there. Hmm. Right, Marlas are taking fire. All form of V. Yeah, the Marlas are doing a really good job there. Little bit of a turkey uh, shoot so far. Right, okay. A few rounds there. Decent enough. Right, they are taking fire votes, so I do want to back them up. Right, okay. Now, ammunition is potentially a problem. That's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I know, right. Uh, to be honest, you would not want to be on the receiving end of those uh, dual 35s. That's not what you want to see there. I'm rather intrigued by the fact that the British haven't brought uh, as much in the way of armor as I expected, actually. Hmm. 
definitely be able to take a shoot so far. Right, incoming aircraft. Oh, that's our own. Okay, that's good to see. Yeah, the, um, oh god, yeah, the Gappers are going to give them something to worry about there. So we do have the helicopters coming in there, the L-105s. Oh, I yeah, you are right. Hmm. Right, so we do see enemy rotary ring, uh, wing aircraft. Uh, right, okay, so we do have enemy choppers, so we were right. Uh, we do have our own 20 mils engaging. These guys are engaged with the ATGM, so definitely something we'll want to take out. Yep, Marders are engaging. They are taking ATGM fire. We were very lucky to survive an actual considering it was in Milan. Right, we're driving them off. Okay, pop smoke. That's even going to help. I think the movement's doing them a load of good right now. That and the amount of AA they're taking. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, looks like we have hit them pretty hard there. Yeah, we did knock it out of the sky. Uh, pretty rough situation here for the British. Their ammunition isn't as great as you would like to think. Should I make another wedge? Right, we are taking fire as well. There's a lot of enemy troops over here. That is pretty nasty. We are seeing infantry here. And the issue is we are going to be running out of ammunition pretty quickly. I've got a couple of rounds here. Uh, the issue is what we've been engaged in isn't exactly ideal. Right, looks like one of our choppers has been driven off. Uh, what I need to do is actually unload some infantry over that way. Do have a Milan in there, so I would like to get a Milan in here. Okay. Shift up again. Looks like they are trying to flank us over here, actually, so that's something to bear in mind. Shifting the leopards to try and counter that, actually. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, right, man. We don't have a lot of the wave forces here as well, actually. Leopards are looking less uh, resplendent in the desert here. Scout team is taking a lot of fire. Uh, speaking of fire. Right, so we are seeing some vehicles over here. We don't really have a great idea of what we're looking at here. Okay. I'm concerned by what we've seen down here. Yep, 
just caught it there, Pixel. But thank you. I will advance the Gepards as well. Yeah. Get those orders through there. And we do have the Martyrs moving in, which is going to be very handy. I'm going to get them land set up as well. Yeah, no, you are right, man. Hmm. Right, we'll go for that. Well, that works for me, actually. So we'll have them fast move into the building there. The Marder. Okay, so we have additional enemy aircraft coming in there. Yep, those are not good. So we have Harry's coming in here. I love the actual camo. That's ah, so nice. Uh, but not great right now. Not great right now. I'm going to pop smoke just in case. Uh, we do have the gap heads coming in. Uh, try to increase the space in there. Indeed, Harry is now. Fantastic, isn't it? Oh, that's not good. That is most certainly not good. Yep, okay, that's... Mm. Well, that was actually very, very effective. Okay, that was really, really effective. Uh, and very, very worrying. Yeah, we need to try and end this pretty quick here. Yeah, that, that is concerning. <laughs> that is concerning. Hmm. Well, I don't really have a defense against them now, so we have to get in here. As we're in the vehicles, we do need to worry about the infantry, but this is a pretty big uh, defeat for the British, anyhow. Yeah, they will be back soon, which is why I'm trying to get this uh, going quickly, actually. Hmm. Definitely worrying. Okay. Hmm. Okay, at least the actual martyrs are able to engage here. I don't think we're actually seeing tanks, which is really intriguing. But I find that bizarre, and they've got to be somewhere. Bring some additional choppers, trying to get an idea of what's going on. I should call this Operation Storm in a Teacup. That seems like a very fitting name. Seems like we've witnessed more of them mechanized. <laughs> Sucky tea bag. <laughs> Love the improvement as well with the red line there. It's really nice. Uh, so enemy troops have been routed. That's good. These leopard twos are so quick. Uh, 
Right, infantry platoon over that way. There we go. Ah, so there is enemy armor over here, actually. So we did see some chieftains, actually. Hmm. Ideas, moving in. Yeah, I just need that firepower there, really. And incoming aircraft. Thankfully, it's mine. That might be the armor down here, actually. I don't imagine we have a huge amount of ammunition. Uh, we do have a decent amount of APFSD. APFSD. Yeah, there we go. We see chieftains. Uh, thankfully caught them on the flank here, actually, which is not a good position for them. That is a bit of a shootout there, isn't it? Hmm. And that is a uh, leopard knocked out there. And another leopard knocked out. Okay, that is not good. Uh... There's course there, because that is pretty much a a defeat right there, actually. Yep. Well, that went a bit too quick, but... That is pretty bad. Knocked out one, but nowhere near enough. And that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. Hmm... Now, bugger the infantry. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that is a tactical defeat. <laughs> yeah, that, that quickly turned aside there. Uh, that went bad real quick. Yeah. Just a few tanks lost, and that was it there. Four down, goddamn. Uh, so we see... Yeah. That was pretty rough. That was pretty rough. I think we lost a lot of our ammunition, actually, on the infantry, so that's something to actually bear in mind. Uh, that went rough. Uh, that did go rough. Uh, but overall, we didn't lose that much beyond the Gepherds, so we can refit. Um, even then, the refit's going to be very expensive. Hmm. Okay. Much learned there. Much to be learned. Uh, let's see... Napalm could be very handy. We do have iron bombs there, which are always good. The rockets are handy. Cluster munitions are always nice. Uh, we do have the F4F Phantoms, which are nice. They do have a good... Yeah, they're pretty all-round, aren't they? We'll take some Phantoms. Okay. We'll go ahead and progress. But yeah, that was pretty rough there. To lose four and just to be wiped. Hmm. Okay, so interesting how it shows greed here. <laughs> oh, so we do have the airfield here, so we are essentially defending the airfield. That's fine by me. We'll work with that. We do see Fort Irwin, so we have been pushed back actually from Garlic Spring and from Fort Irwin itself. And we do have a lot of interesting hills to play with. We do have the airfield. That's a lot of flat ground there. But it's interesting actually see the uh, natural nature of the terrain here. Right. Hmm. So it looks like we could potentially hold a position around about here and just and allow them to come in. And uh, we do have all the objectives over here as we are on the defense. And uh, we will hold here at Bicycle Lake. Which is an amazing name. That's actually a fantastic name. Okay, this is where we'll have to hold then. And we can try to... I mean, there's a road here, unfortunately, but we can, we can hold at the airfield. Uh, we are quite fortunate in the fact that we are the defender now. Um, which is something, I guess. <laughs> uh, one way to look at it, isn't it? Okay. Hmm.
I just try and hunk her up, really. Group bound together. Yep, I can make a decent uh, bit of use of these AA guns. They're going to be uh, pretty nice. No live side man. Oh, wow. Okay, that is amazing. Wow, okay. I did not know about that. Um. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, my God. You guys put some amazing work into this. I don't even know what that means. That's, that's, um, that's amazing. That is amazing. Wow. Um, I'm actually apparently quite easily impressed, but I am impressed. That is actually very impressive. That's a terrible position, actually, so thank you for actually showing me that. That's also a terrible position. Wow. And so again, we are going to have the uh, the leopard to just essentially hold the airfield. There we go. Hmm. That's really good. That's really nice. Yeah, was, uh, with this being so flat, we don't really have a lot to work with. That is a fantastic improvement, though. That is genuinely well, well done there. Hmm. Uh, so do the red dots indicate uh, what can't be seen, man? Okay, not a uh, not great love for the dismounted, to be honest. That'll do. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, the phantoms I can bring in when ready, so that's good. That's fine by me. Okay, they are um, uh, pretty spread out then, actually. <laughs> pretty spread out. Right, actually starting operation procedures. That's going to be good. Oh, 
Oh, that's good to know. Thank you very much. Yeah, that is a lot of water, so we do have wombats. Not a fan of those guys. Looks like a recoilless rifle there. Hmm. That was pretty effective. Oh, that's awesome then. I do worry that they're going to run out of ammunition. We may just be a little outnumbered. Just, just a tad. And we are being flanked there. Yeah, those might be some guitars. Yep, they are scimitars. It might be worthwhile to bring the phantoms in to take care of these scimitars just to try and blind them somewhat, but it's a. Uh, there's a lot there to take into consideration. Oh, they're dropping the smoke in there as well. Hmm. At least we have an idea of what we're dealing with here. And they're moving out. I think we'll uh, go ahead and bring them in. Just at whatever point they arrive, it might be worthwhile. I don't like them being flanked there. That is worrying. That may have been some tiles of the center, actually. Try and predict it. Not easy. We are greatly outnumbered. It's actually pretty impressive. And just how much we're outnumbered here. Right, okay. Just about ready to fire. So we will. I'm really hoping that the air spot is going to be sufficient. I'm a little bit more than worried. Don't have an eye on where the scimitars have gone, but we can imagine. Ah, this is going to be a tough one. Uh, thankfully, we do have the Leopard 2s. They are very well armored. It's just the issue of, like, well... Uh, nothing can be invulnerable in this day and age. Hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the amount of melans that we have just just it, it doesn't feel like it's enough right now. <laughs> Right, scout team is taking fire. Pop smoke in the hell out. They are doing a, they have done a really good job though. But there's a lot of fire there. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, it looks like armor. Okay, that's one down. Right, we lost the scout team there, unfortunately. There's the second one down there. If we can take them piecemeal like that, we might be okay. But I'm not super confident. Uh, the Phantoms have arrived, however. Not a great sign that they're immediately engaging, but that just shows you how close the enemy is. That Leopard is taking fire. Thankfully, the Phantoms have arrived at a good time here. We are taking fire. There's a lot of enemy forces here. Oh, we do see chieftains over here, actually. Right, we did take a hit there. Yep, there we go. Cluster munitions. Very nice. And we do knock a chieftain out. Fantastic job there. You are taking a lot of fire. They did a pretty admir admirable job there. Even knocking out a tank is still worthwhile. Um, hard to say just how effective it's been, but better than nothing, surely. Right, I don't like the fact that we're taking hits over that way. Pop smoke there, just to try and cover us. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Alright, we're taking fire. We do have an eyes on target there. Right, so we're seeing infantry deployed here. Um, yeah, they're not coming back. At least they didn't go down. They did knock out a chieftain though, so that is pretty handy. Uh, they did fire a good number of rockets. Enemy vehicle being engaged. Hmm. Good shot, good shot. APFSDS. Doing a good job. Oh my god, that's another one down. That is what we need. Right, I'm not... Oh, god damn it. I'm just about to say I'm not happy with the amount of fire we're taking. I mean, we, we can't afford to take many uh, losses at all. That's the problem.
And I do believe there is a tutorial. I believe. I could be wrong. Yeah, I feel like I may need to drop the, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, uh, infantry platoon, mechanized platoon, because it's, it's just not doing that much for me. That's not good. of a martyr down. Yep, I do not have a lot to play with here. Hmm. Uh, what I would give for additional phantoms? I would give a lot. Okay, at least we did take care of one, that's good. Right, incoming artillery, that's not good. <sighs> right, at least we aren't engaged, we're taking a couple of them out. Which is... Okay, a, a few, uh, a few, that's good. that's good. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that situation. It's the armor that I need to take. If I can take out the armor, I mean, I don't have many tanks. I've lost one of them as well, which is a, that's a, that's a twenty percent loss of firepower. That's pretty big. Hmm. There's the scimitars. Alright, we are taking hits. At least we do have mortars come down here to help us out. Hmm. It sounds like an ATGM, but I can't say from where. Not going too bad so far. Pop smoke there. Don't have any smoke left here, unfortunately. Right, your buttons up, but you're still good. It's currently reloading. Um, I spoke too, too soon there. Yeah. Okay, that's 4% of our firepower gone. Right, we are engaging. Milan AT Gems gonna engage there. And that's not great. Try to pull it back, there is a lot of enemy artillery.
I'm trying to engage in the scimitar still. Oh, there's two scimitars over here. Yep, that's it. Hold still. There we go. That's what I needed. Engage the second. Try to reduce the uh, bloody ability to gather intelligence would be nice. Hmm. Good job. That artillery is not nice. There's a little bit of armor around here somewhere. Yep, there we go. Scout team has been discovered. Right, that might be why. Hmm. There we go, we're taking out the target. Still taking hits, we're luckily not taking damage. Right, there's a couple of ground units over there, that is not good. Yeah, okay. I wish we still had the original tanks as well. <laughs> because there's a lot of enemy forces right now. Oh, thank God for that. This battle feels significantly harder in a way. Hey, do you make AG? <laughs> yeah, Animal Crossing. Nah, I'd probably be better at Animal Crossing. <laughs> Right, I've still got another Marda. At least I can potentially get them over here to try and deal with these guys. The 20mm is going to do a good job. 20mm uh, is engaging over there, actually. FE432. 20mm is going to be handy. Even though they appear to be like mirages here at the moment. Brian taking fire there. Brian Mars gone. There's a lot of FE432s moving in. And I do not have a lot of ammunition left. Okay, there's still chieftains. Oh god. Good job. Not liking the artillery. Still have a few rounds, those 120s are doing a good job. I don't like that, we're still dealing with chieftains. They're pretty damn effective too. So we've got the L115. Pretty effective gun. That's not good. That's quite a few things I've just knocked out there. Yeah, those chieftains need to be taken out. They are pretty damn well effective. Oh, 
Good job. Good shot, man. Not left, uh, not much left on our part, not much left on their part either. Book of the infantry. Okay, so we see a single chieftain so far. And definitely something of a death match here, isn't it? Right, 20 mils engaging. Oh, that's a mobilizer. Okay, that's not great. Ryan's the chieftain there. At least we... Oh, okay, that's not good. <sighs> My god, that good. Uh, apparently we're... There we go. Oh, there's an avoid as well. That's not good. Now that is a uh, knife fight. Can bring the Geppard to helpfully, well, hopefully support as well. That'd be nice. Come on, take it out. Oh, please. Don't have any smoke. All oh, right, good, 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 good. I'll take you. Right, smoke's obscuring us. Okay, chieftain's a little bit bigger, uh, busy at the moment. Ah, uh, there's another chieftain. Okay, let's let's retreat. Geppards are here to support. Oh god, I can't watch. <laughs> it's so... Oh, live. Take them out. Right, those very fives are not going to kill it, but at least it's helpful. IT jam's not great. Yeah, it's forced them to drop smoke at least. Good, that's another one knocked out. Brilliant. Oh no. Right, okay. There's not a huge amount left. If we could potentially deal with the chieftains, we might be okay. Chief's just moving in. We have a problem. Okay. So they're still motivated, which is good. Okay. Plenty, a lot of enemy troops. Right, but looks like it might have been another armored vehicle there. Potentially even a scimitar. Yep, and we have coming in. There's not a lot of cover here, to be honest. This folks not helping me out right now. Right, stop engaging the infantry. I still have a headquarters, thankfully. I don't think we're too far from a defeat. It's... Definitely crunch time. Right, there we go. Panzer's, uh, Panzer Grenadier is routed, unfortunately. And we don't have a tremendous amount left.
Okay. Right, that artillery is not good. We know there's a chieftain around here. Jesus, just look at the amount of, like, uh, craters around this area. Yep, okay. That's really dangerous. Right, come on, take it out. Right, good, we can actually see you now. Rear shot there would be nice. Please kill it. At least it's retreating. Well, not retreating really, but you know what I mean. Bloody hell. I'm pretty surprised these 20mm guns are still alive, to be honest. Yeah, I need to actually pull back, it seems. Right, now we're spotted the Chieftain. But we're out of ammo. She's less than stellar. Yeah, there's not a lot left. Maybe the Panzer Grenadiers might be able to handle it, but we are just pretty much out of ammo at this point. You've still got a few shells of AP. And uh, what is that? AP FSDS. Still got a few high explosive anti tank. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the MP stands for. I've still got some heat rounds. Run over Panzer. Faust. Right, one engage if we can. Try and knock it out with the anti tank. That's what I want to see. Not misses though. That's not what I want to see. Get it open and up. Oh, God, the amount of shells I've taken is unbelievable. Come on, engage. Right, hold your position then, I guess. Oh, good job. Good, good, good job there. Hitting the turret. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, maybe... <laughs> maybe that's all the chieftains? I do not know. That is tough. I'm amazed that we've actually managed to stand. I don't know how much we have left to face... Uh, it seems to be there might be a tank over here. But that is pretty good. Speed things up. Hmm. Yeah, extra rations for those who are remaining. Looks like a lot of infantry, really. Artillery's not great. Ah. Something's got an ATGM. I'm going to assume that's the infantry. Well, 
Well, that's not good. Oh my god, we do achieve a tactical victory, though. Oh my god. I thought we were closer to feet there. Well, we were very close to defeat, I imagine. Bloody hell. 99 troops, 52 vehicles. Bloody hell. Just look at all that. Look at it. So, 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 so much. Bloody hell. I do wish I'd retained more tanks. Oh my god. That was a long battle. We'll just look at the sheer amount of losses there. The issue is it's obviously hard to know what we're facing, but this is where obviously having aerial reconnaissance is very good. You can really understand how and why satellites are just so, so important. Just being able to actually have the information on the battlefield is amazing. So I think that was the only thing left there. Um, though actually I actually don't think I get a proper view there. I don't think I get to see the improper thing, actually. My god. Then just the amount of armored vehicles over here. I mean, I don't know. How, how effective were the F4 Phantoms, really? Hard to say. It might have been worthwhile to potentially have held them back. But this is it. Just the sheer amount of vehicles is unbelievable. 52. That is a lot of enemy vehicles there. We did have two of our own squads routed. Pretty hefty losses there. I mean, ideally, it makes a difference. Ah, uh, can I potentially drop them? No, but you can see we're running low now. Yeah, that's it. It's all going to the tanks there. So this is now the offensive, the counter-offensive, which, frankly, I am not feeling. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun. Yeah, you will attack and you will like it. <laughs> hmm. Okay. It's a pretty good game. I like Armored Brigade. Make that effective, effective. Right, we'll go with that. Uh, no air spot this time around. No fun. I love the fact that these builds have just been completely demolished. Uh, yes, indeed, this is against the AI. I imagine a player would destroy me. Without a doubt, anyway. Hmm. Right, okay. So it looks like there might be infantry up over this way. I'd like to say that we have destroyed a good deal of enemy armor, and maybe they won't have that many points left, but, yeah, uh, I don't know. 
those chieftains are pretty effective in just the sheer numbers though, really. Well, that's not good. Right. This will give the uh, armor a chance to move up. We are getting ideas of where the enemy might be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Might look to bring. Oh no, <laughs> I was about to say. Might look to bring in the phantoms. Yeah, we don't have the phantoms this time around. Right, it looks like his armor over this way. Right, there goes an enemy vehicle. And a helicopter. There you go. Kept coming in handy very now. Uh, very much now. Yeah, you you better get out of here. I did gems as well. Not very nice. I don't like that there's infantry over here. They're going to be like dismounted scouts, I'd imagine. Hmm. Jesus, 11th. Where the hell are you from there, Van Bishop? Maybe don't use your uh, shell there, please. Oh, wow. Uh. Ah. Yep, that's rather quick to get the hell out of here. Yeah, we shot it down. Oh, fantastic. Would I like to think I got hit by 120mm uh, uh, shell? Or just, just in general, anything really. I don't think that'd be fun. Yep, the one's off map. So, <laughs> the British positions. Uh. That's amazing, isn't it? I quite like this map, actually. It's really intriguing. You'd think it'd be uh, really, really quite flat, would it obviously be like the sort of desert, but no, absolutely not. There's a lot of... Uh, it's one of those if there's not too much in the way of, like... Um, I suppose you could say forests and just... Yeah, there's still hills and falls. Hmm. Yeah, definitely hang in there. Don't uh, don't be building any idols. 
uh, to any false gods. Um, instead, worship... <sighs> worship the rice cooker, man. Those are things that are worth having. You, you don't need anybody else in your life if you've got a rice cooker, I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, so far so good. I, d I don't know how much we might be dealing with. Uh, so we do have eyes on an enemy. Yeah, that pretty much dealt with it. Are we not dealing with as much as we uh, imagined? Hmm. Well, that looks like some armor, but it's having a bad day today. Maybe advanced, you can actually get a bloody shot at it. That's a great way to use a lot of shells there. It's amazing. I've <laughs> been fine, and a bloody FE432. My god. Jesus. What a waste of shells. I don't think they have much here. Yeah, MG3 is coming in handy. Oh no, it's a 7.6. Right, get a bit of it. Speed up. Okay, it seems like there is armor down this way. Ah, uh, yep, there we go. Yep, some chieftains down there, it seems. Right, we lost a... Okay, that's not good. They have been a bloody big pain, haven't they? Right, there we go. They didn't have that much left, it seems. Having to rush this one, unfortunately, because I do not have that much time left. Sadly, so. But I don't know. We might be able to put it out. Moving in over here in the north. Yeah, they don't have that much. Then again, I suppose they're out of defense. I don't think they get too much. Okay, not too uh, good of an idea to advance then. They're going to be unloaded in just a moment. Moving towards the objective. Looks like mortars potentially there. May, uh, maybe even AA. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'd say the best way to think about it is a tactical simulator. It is very good. It's very good at what it does, really. Scales very nice.
Yeah, yeah, right, man. <laughs> and uh, I've been a little bit lazy because obviously I want to try and get as much in as possible before the time does unfortunately run out. That'd be infantry. In buildings, then okay. Oh, they've already unloaded, haven't they? Okay. Oh, have they? No. Do I even have infantry? I don't think I even have infantry, do I? No, I didn't have the points made then, did I? Oh, bloody hell. That is a shame. But what we're going to do then is we're going to call it here. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have the time to actually get out of a battle and do it well. So I'm going to say thank you so very much there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I do hope you guys do remain safe and just, yeah, keep in contact. Don't go mad. And, uh, yeah, pray to the good god that is the rice cooker. It will save you. It will keep you going there. Yeah, the, uh, the infantry did have a pretty bad time, didn't they? They had a, uh, a, a tremendous headache, I suppose you could say, when the roof fell in. I hope you guys have had a great time. It's been great to be here once again. And uh, hopefully be here a little bit more often. I mean, who knows how it's going to go in this tumultuous world, but uh, I think we'll be okay. It's going to be a different one on the other end, though, isn't it? My God, we'll see about that. Until next time, uh, thank you so very much. I will see you again. Goodbye for now. You can find me on YouTube at XCRG. Would be much appreciated if you guys go ahead and subscribe. And with that, I'm going to finish this outro. Yes, did a good outro. Uh, thank you very much to Slivering Games and Matrix Games for allowing this to happen. There we go. Ah, awesome. Until next time, have a beautiful evening. Goodbye.